Hello again. In this video, I'm going to talk about the five ways that you can take your business to the stratosphere. Stay tuned. Hi, Doug Barra with Action Coach Business Coaching, and this is Business Success with Doug Barra. In today's video, we're going to talk about the five ways to massive success in your business. Now, the five ways starts with understanding that this is the chassis that your business runs on. Now, just like every kind of car has a chassis underneath it, every kind of business has a chassis underneath it. And the same chassis can run many, many different businesses. And one I'll tell you is that for the chassis of business, it runs all businesses. I don't care whether you have a nice little family business that just takes care of your family or whether you're trying to build a, a, me a mega business that's going to take over the world. They all run on the same chassis. And this is what I'm going to talk to you about today. The business success chassis looks like number of leads, conversion rate, number of customers, number of transactions, average sale, revenues, margins, and profit. Now, you might have just said to yourself, wait a minute, Doug, that wasn't five things. That was eight things. I think your math's a little off. Well, five of those are the important ones. Not the three you think they are. Not the number of customers, not the revenues, and not the profits. Because each one of them is actually a result of what comes before. Number of customers is a result of the number of leads, the number of people who actually raised their hands said, I'm interested in finding out what you do times your conversion rate, your effectiveness at creating a sale. All right, now let's just throw in some numbers. So what if you had a, a theoretical business, okay? These numbers don't mean anything other than they're easy for me to remember. And let's say in that theoretical business, you have 4,000 leads. So 4,000 people have raised their hands and said, I'm interested in finding out what you do. And of those 4,000 people, you're an average salesperson, so you can convert 25% of them. So 25% of 4,000 is 1,000. So we have 1,000 customers. All right, now let's say those customers, on average, buy from us twice. So the number of transactions is two. All right, now, I understand that some of them might buy once and go away, and some of them might buy hundreds of times. The average, I'm saying, is two. All right, and on average, they pay $100. That's their average transaction. All right, their average sale, $100. So I have 1,000 people buying from me twice for an average of $100. Therefore, I have revenues of $200,000. Okay, makes sense, right? 1,000 customers times two, 2,000 times 100, I now have $200,000 in revenues. Okay, now let's say my margins are 25%, again, because it's very easy for me to work. That means I have $50,000 in profit. Okay, so I now understand what those numbers are. I've done the measuring. I know what they are. So, what does that do for me? Okay, great. You've got a nice autopsy of your business. No, no, here's the value of that. There's two ways that this is super valuable for you. Okay, one way is let's start at the bottom and say, you know what? I actually don't want $50,000 in profit. I want $100,000 in profit. Okay, great. I take that $100,000, I say my margins are 25%. Therefore, my revenues need to be, instead of $200,000, they need to be $400,000. Okay, great. Okay, and I just keep working my way back up until I get to how many people do I have to talk to on a regular basis to make those numbers. But again, that's not super, the, the super value of this. The super value of this is understanding leverage. Leverage is what we call divide to multiply. Divide to multiply says if I divide something up and then multiply my results, I get better results when I do increases in each one of those areas. So if I'm focused on my number of leads 
and let's say I focus on it and I really work on it and I get 10% more leads, all right? 10% more of 4,000 is 4,400, all right? So now I have 4,400 leads, all right? Then I focus on my conversion rate. I do all kinds of sales training. I do lots of things to make sure that I can get more people to buy, all right? I do sales training, I do scripts, I do testing and measuring, I learn how to do better. I have better offers. And let's say I take my 25% conversion rate and I raise it by 10%. Now I'm at 27.5% conversion rate. All right, 10%, 2.5% higher, 25 goes to 27.5%. So now I have 4,400 leads, 27.5% conversion rate. I multiply those two together and I get another 10% increase in my, oh, wait a minute, hold on. My customers didn't go up by 10%, they went up by 21%. I have 1,210 customers now because I multiplied two 10%s together to get 21%. This is the value of understanding that leverage and that divide to multiply. Keep going down. Transactions, I take my two transactions, I increase them by 10%, I have 2.2 transactions. I take my $100 average dollar sale, I change it to $110, I now have 1,210 customers, 2.2, transactions, $110 average sale. I multiply that out and now I have a 46% increase in my revenues, 46%. I take my margins, up them by 10%. Now, hold on, let me go back for a second because one of the things I want to talk about there is, well, how do I do that? Okay, so number of transactions. This is all about getting people to come back. It's our database. It's making sure that we're reaching out to people, touching people, making sure that people know what we do and that have already bought from us so they come back. It's a lot cheaper to go get them to come back than it is to go find a new one. Average dollar sale, plenty of ways we can increase our average dollar sale. Think about what it's like when you go into McDonald's. Would you like fries with that? Would you like a shake with that? Would you like dessert with that? All things that help to increase the average dollar sale, adding a little bit on. Maybe you just raise your prices by 10%. So anyway, we can get those 10% increases. Now we go to margins. There's a lot of ways we can increase margins as well. All right? One of the ways you can increase margins was everything you did up top, right? Because the more we sell, the more our margins are gonna go up, All right? Because we have fixed costs. That percentage of those fixed costs to our sales is going to go down as we go up. Now, the percentage of our costs that's related to our sales is not, but there is going to be a portion of those, those costs that are not going to increase. So just because we raised our revenues, our margins are gonna go up. Let's say we get 10%. Again, we go from 25 to 27.5%. Now we have a 61% increase in profit. 61%. That's a massive increase just from doing 10% in each one of those areas. If you'd like to find out more, reach out to me. If you've got value from this video, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again.